Hello dear students, today's topic is mass spectrometry. Name itself implies that mass is related to the weight of a compound and spectrometry is nothing. It is breaking the organic compounds into smaller fragments or mass unit and by virtue of those smaller units, one can predict the structure of a compound. Like your NMR and infrared, mass is also one of the important tool in identification of an organic compound. And in today's lecture, I will be explaining you about the introduction of mass spectrometry, then functioning of the mass spectrometer and different components of the mass spectrometer and about the principle of mass spectrometer. Now let us start the introduction part. Mainly for the qualitative analysis of organic compound we use three analytical techniques that is infrared spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy and mass spectrometry. Infrared provides the functional group present in the structure. NMR gives you the basic idea about the carbon hydrogen framework that is the hybridization state as well as different electronegative groups attached to carbon or hydrogen. For that we can use one proton NMR or the 13 carbon NMR. And mass spectrometry generally gives you the idea about the molecular weight of a compound as well as the formula of the compound beside that the fragmentation pattern of the organic compound these three methods are combinedly used for the characterization of a organic compounds and the first mass spectrometer was constructed by sir jj thompson and he was awarded the nobel prize in the year 1906 the uses of mass spectrometer, they are used in the wide disciplines. The most common use is in the organic synthesis. That is uh, whenever we are synthesizing the new chemical entity for its identification and characterization, we use mass spectrometry. Similarly, we can also use it for the structural elucidation of the unknown compound, environmental polling plant, forensic analyte in pharmaceuticals we can use it for the quality control of our drug molecules flavors polymers and chemicals beside that it is also used in other allied disciplines like biochemistry medicine etc now let us start the functioning of the mass instrument the three main function of the mass instrument is First, it converts the neutral atom or molecule into the positive charge ions. It is carried out through different ionization technique. Then once the ions are formed, those ions are separated based on its mass by charge ratio. It is by help of mass analyzer. And thirdly, the measurement of those separated ions uh, based on relative abundance by use of detectors. So this is how these three function is carried out. That is a first conversion of a neutral molecule into the positive charge ions, then separation of the ions, and third is the measurement of the ions. In this uh, figure, you can see that this is the ionization through electron impact method. The any compound with the molecule M when strike with the beam of electron that is a 70 electro volt through the electron gun when it when it strike the molecule the first thing that is taking place is one of the electron is removed from the molecule and it will form the molecular ion radical ion or the parent ion that is denoted by M plus dot in that case there is no removal of any atoms just one electron is removed 
so that means molecular ion is nothing it is it is the molecular weight of a compound then after that this is further broken down into small pieces those small pieces are separated in the magnetic field based on their weights and some ions they are separated faster and some ions it will take a longer time to reach the detector so this is how the ionization is taking place in the mass discuss about ionization and mass spectra as i have already explained you that there is a bombardment of the molecules and the formation of molecular ion and the daughter ions for this case i have taken the example of benzamide this is the structure of a benzamide that is a benzene ring with cons2 when the electron gun passes the high beam of electron it will strike this benzamide molecule and dislodge one of the electron when one of the electron is dislodged that can be indicated by hole to the power bracket plus dot so here there is no removal of any atom just one electron is removed so the positive ions formed here is known as a molecular ion or a parent ion it is nothing the molecular weight of a compound that is mass by charge of 121 because in the structure you know that the electron is dislodged from the position where the electrons are loosely held if we consider this benzamide structure the loosely held electrons are present in this alternative pi bonds three pi bonds or in this oxygen non bonding electron or this nitrogen non bonding electrons but we are not sure from which position the electron is removed for that reason what we generally do is we make hole to the power bracket plus dot so once the molecular ion is formed in electron impact ionization the another thing is that the 70 electro volt energy is so high that this benz amide nucleus is further fragmented into daughter ions and it will take two pathway in first pathway there is a cleavage of ns2 from the structure so that it is giving a benzene ring single bond c plus double bond o so this is a 105 plus mass by charge again there is a removal of co and we will get a 75 77 that is a c6h5 plus unit that is and another pathway is cleavage from this position that is in between the co and the benzene ring the bond will break c6h5 will remove and the fragment c double bond o ns2 plus is formed so this 105 unit 77 unit 44 unit these are known as a daughter ions in mass spectra so whenever we are presenting this fragmentation in the form of spectra we plot in x axis mass by charge and in y axis percentage of base peak or sometime we called it as a percentage relative abundance so mass by charge is m by z or m by e so whatever the charge z or e is there it is a unit charge that is a plus one charge so that exactly represents the fragment we are getting a 121 peak that represents the benzamide molecular ion peak likewise this 105 peak is this one and 77 daughter ion peak is this one 44 peak is this one so here the representation of those uh, peaks are nothing those peaks are represented based on relative calculation the highest most peak is considered in mass as a 100% and the remaining peaks are with respect to or relative to that base peak that is the highest peak and the peaks 
presentation in mass is a line spectra all the peaks are a straight line this is the another example of mass spectra so i have taken the carbon dioxide molecule so carbon dioxide molecule per weight is 44 so this 44 peak is a molecular ion peak after that one oxygen is removed from the co2 it will becomes a co plus so co plus is a 28 peak again fragment of co plus into c plus and o plus that represented by the c plus 12 and o plus 16 here the 44 peak is a base peak and other ions daughter ions are with respect to this 44 that is a relative uh, abundance and in mass sometimes the molecular ion peak may behave like a, a base peak and in other cases there might be a daughter ion that can behave like a base peak it depends on the stability of the ions so this is the presentation of the mass instrument so different uh, component of the mass instrument one is a sample inlet system through which we are introducing a sample in the vapor phase then after that this vapor phase sample enters the ionization chamber where the ionization different ionization method converts the molecule into the molecular ion and the daughter ion then it will pass into the mass analyzer where separation of ions takes place based on the mass by charge and it will go to the detector and finally it is recorded in the data system and you will get the spectra so one important thing you should remember that in this diagram is mass from ionization to detector it is operated in a low vacuum pressure so the low pressure of 10 to the power minus 5 to 10 to the power minus 8 tour is maintained whenever the ions are traveling in the mass analyzer it may collide with the air particles to avoid that and to get a collision free ion trajectory mass is operated in a vacuum pressure that is a low pressure of 10 to the power minus 5 to 10 to the power minus 8 2. so in this figure i have shown you the hyphenated system in hyphenated system we have a interface between the sample introduction and as well as your ion source this interfacing is the separation between the two instrumental unit one is the gas chromatography liquid chromatography supercritical fluid chromatography ion chromatography and capillary electrophoresis so there whenever we require a dual application that is quantification through the separation technique and qualitative analysis to the mass technique we combine these two instrument system which we call as a hyphenated system so whenever we are incorporating the interface in this instrument this is the part which will avoid the direct contact of sample into the ion source if we directly pass the coulomb outlet of gc and liquid chromatography into ionization chamber then the vacuum system of mass will collapse so this interface will remove the mobile phase and just pass the stream of molecule into the ion source in this ion source the generation of ion source can be carried out with the help of different ionization technique like electron impact chemical ionization fast atom bombardment maldi and electron spray ionization and this is separated by the ions are separated by the analyzers the separation unit may be of different type like quadrupole magnetic sector time of flight fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance type ion trap type once the ions are separate, separated it will reach the detector the commonly used detector are 
Faraday curve and electron multiplier detector. And this whole system is maintained in the high va low vacuum pressure. And this is a data system. So the common hybrided system we are using in practice is liquid chromatography mass spectrometry and gas chromatography mass spectrometry and one of the important aspect you can observe here is the ionization techniques are lots of ionization techniques i have just mentioned few of them like electron impact chemical ionization fab maldi and esi and analyzer also there are lots of analyzer technique i have mentioned few of them like quadrupole magnetic sector time of flight fourier transform transform ion cyclotron and ion trap so these two system can be combined randomly to get a different types of mass spectrometer sometimes we may have a electron impact with magnetic sector and sometimes we may take a electron impact with time of flight chemical ionization with quadrupole, chemical ionization with magnetic sector. So we get a lots of variety of a mass is instrument and we can use them based on our needs. So that is one of the beauty of the mass instrument. Now moving to the principle of mass spectrometry, the separation of ions in mass analyzers we have a number of equation that can be brought to explain the behavior of positive ions in presence of magnetic field so in this diagram you can see that through the probe we are introducing the sample it is it goes into the ionization chamber here the electron gun will pass the high stream beam of electron and it will bombard the molecule it is converted into the molecular ion and the daughter ion and it will pass into the magnetic sector unit here the separation is taking place so there are two things happening here one is inside the ionization chamber and another is inside this magnetic unit in ionization chamber the ions are formed once the ions are formed they possess the kinetic energy e so kinetic energy E of an ion of mass M traveling with velocity V is given by the formula kinetic energy equal to half mv square. And as you know that any matter can be comes under the motion when potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. So potential energy should be possessed after that that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. So the potential energy of an ion of charge E being repelled by voltage V is given by potential energy equal to Eb. When the ion is repelled by potential energy Eb, it is converted into the kinetic energy. Hence, potential energy equal to kinetic energy. So Eb equal to half mv square. So V equal to root under 2 Eb by m. This is equation one so you should always remember that every ions possesses same potential energy and kinetic energy however kinetic energy is constant parameter if mass is more the velocity will be less if the velocity is more the mass will be less however overall kinetic energy remains same or constant once the ions travels from the ionization chamber to the magnetic sector unit in that condition the ions will have the influence of the magnetic field and those ions they have a circular path so the circular motion of the ions can be represented by the centrifugal force and some kind of force of magnet is acting towards the ions which we called as a centripetal force so at the equilibrium the centrifugal force of ion is equal by the centripetal force exerted by magnet so centrifugal force is given by the formula mv square by r m represent the mass v the velocity r is the radius of the path that ions is taking centripetal force is given by the formula H E V H is a magnetic field that is H E is a charge and V is a velocity. 
at equilibrium say cf equal to cp so centrifugal force is mv square by r centripetal force is hv now rearrange the equation r equal to mv into e by s that becomes a equation 2 so this v in the equation 2 can be replaced by the value of v of equation 1 that is the value of v is root under 2 ev by m you replace it then you square both side and rearrange the final equation becomes mass by charge equal to h square into r square upon 2v so if we look at this equation the voltage v is constant magnetic field h is constant charge e also constant so the radius of path taken in this magnetic unit is based on the mass of the ions so you can observe here so this red beam is nothing ions that are too heavy to bear heavy bend too little and these ions that are too light bend too much and these ions they are the appropriate ions which are taking the circular motion is detected in the detector to collect the all ions simultaneously in mass uh, uh, mass spectrometer what we can do is either we can change the voltage v or we can change a magnetic field at strength field strength so that all ions are collected simultaneously and we get a appropriate spectra of the compound so the ba very basic fundamental of the principle of mass in instrument is just you have to remember inside the ionization ch chamber kinetic energy equal to potential energy and inside the magnetic analyzer that is the centripetal force equal to centrifugal force and the final equation is mass by charge equal to h square r square upon 2v this correlation equation gives you the idea that the radius of path taken by the ions is based or it depends on only the mass of the uh, ions and you can either change the voltage as well as change the magnetic field so that all ions are collected si simultaneously in the mass instrument once again thank you for patiently listening my lecture thank you